just going to try and do a little bit of work on stippling this cloak and see what happens. Mm, yeah, I can work comfortably like this, so that's a good sign. Uh, what colour am I using? I'm using um, Vallejo Brown Violet as this, and I mean, This is my old stipple brush, and I probably could have gone for a different one, but this is setting a base texture sufficiently enough. Um, I'm not going to talk the whole time. And I'm planning on having, from this angle, I'm planning on having um, some orange light. So sort of like a flame light coming from the side. I'm not sure though. I may just not do that because it doesn't, the rest of the model doesn't have the atmosphere for it. So uh, thinking about it, don't know. Might make it low intensity. Uh, anyway, from this angle, we need to see straight down here, you can see um, this part will need to get some of this other white colour that I'm going to go for for the cloak outs outside, which will be similar to probably down here. Alright, um, this brush is a Winsor & Newton Series 7 size 2, uh, it's one of my older ones because it's had this, the life stippled out of it, <laughs> but because of that it's quite a good tool for setting the base texture down because uh, if you can see that every time I dot there it's actually splayed quite a bit and it's letting down more than putting out more than one dot every time I push the brush down. Uh, and this might seem like it's a redundant idea because I, oh, I've almost covered the whole lot. And so wouldn't it make sense to just use a paintbrush and just paint normally, you know, stroke, 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 stroke. But I find that if you don't establish the... Uh, stipple pattern from the very beginning it gets a bit inconsistent I mean it probably would work but I'm a stickler for this method and I prefer to apply the paint this way oh, I keep bumping my head into the camera it's not good sorry if that's making any of your motion sick I'll figure this this thing out eventually this is gonna be a longer video if I go and do the whole thing so I might just again and 
definitely going to need to set up the... Oh, you can see the pallet okay in this shot, actually. Um, so... <laughs> Sort of dodging. Really need to redo my palette, I think. This is a mess. Not no room to mix it. I've got room up here and been saving that for other stuff. Let's do the same thing over the top. I'll try and just have quickly finish off this little bit here so you can see how we'll get there but I mean it's not that complicated feels a lot like cheating just let the brush make the texture for you you know dry that off. So I'm going to go jumping right. Had a bit of a cut there. Um, got the camera set up on this new mount I bought on eBay and it was a cheap one and it sucks and I guess bumping it a few times has caused it to fall out of its little hole and then it just slowly fell off I've got a jam got it jammed in there with blue tack um, I've made a small adjustment to the positioning of it so that it's not quite so close to my head and I'm gonna try and keep this guy over this side of the screen uh, so you can see my palette work it's not perfect but I mean it's about as good as I've got at the moment okay so we've done a couple of layers we did some brown violet first and then I mixed in some of this uh, brown with the brown violet I haven't done any pure thar brown yet might do that now he's hiding down here I can't actually see it but I'm pretty sure it's there we'll find out when I use the brush now uh, I want to get this guy in as good a position as possible so you can see I okay. Might be a little bit overexposed. I'm gonna see what happens if we do that. Take one of the lights away. I can't imagine. How annoyed I'll be if I knock this thing off again. <laughs> oh, I cut out some of the squares from the finale version. Well, sorry, sorry, from the originals. And so I'll edit that out, I think. Didn't find Thar Brown was putting enough of a difference, so I'm going to mix whatever this is. I'm not even sure what colour that is. Um... It's an off-white, it's probably something like deck tan. Vallejo deck tan. And I've noticed when I'm watching, watch back the other video just a second ago. Uh, I moved the model around far too much and it's all shaky. It's kind of difficult to stipple without displacing my hand, um, but you know oh, that's a nice got a nice splay on the brush at the moment and I lost it I 
You can see that now that um, I'm getting lighter up into the spectrum, I'm going a bit slower, being a bit more precise where I put these stipple dots. But if you've never painted like this, I very, very highly recommend it. I mean, it can be a bit tedious if you don't like this kind of thing, but for getting a textured cloak, like this Dark Angel Fallen guy that I'm doing, um, I'm not sure if it's even that visible, but if you've seen the pictures I uploaded, you'll be able to see it much better when it's not overblown with the light like that. So we want to get, because this is the back, I don't want to go as bright as up here. And I've got it dirty down the bottom, so I'm not taking it all the way down the bottom because he's, he's fallen, you know, he doesn't have a home base. That's why I've gone for this bit of a, like a lot more damaged look on him, but he keeps his war gear in pretty good condition. His sword's great. And his bolt is still pretty good. You know, got that Dark Angel's proudness going. I'm going to jump right up to this one now. It's probably going to be too jarring because that's almost the top highlight over on the front side. But I'll probably end up coming back over this with some of the darker colors to even it out. I like to jump up and knock things back, which you'll have seen on my ultramarine video as well. The ultramarine shoulder pad. And I am planning to do more, or I want to try and do more of these. Uh, I've had a lot of requests for non-metallic metal gold and I'm really only doing this cloak at the moment just to test out the new setup I want so it's kind of a spur of the moment thing And I really don't think people are going to want to watch me tune this right the way down to have the dots as fine as on the front here. It's kind of, at least I feel like that would be boring. because it consists of doing what I'm basically doing now and just um, picking the spot to paint the dot. I'm gonna go put, put a bit more of this deck tan. I don't even know if it is deck tan, but it's close enough. It's not quite dry, so I'm just going to blast it. So, I'm going to finish off the, this video soon because I feel like it's gone on long enough and you don't want to see me just dot forever because you've gotten the idea. You continually just, you know, go fast at the start, layer up, layer up, and then as you're getting to the end, you just go slower. Uh, I can point out a, a specific, like, important part of this process right now. Now, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to try and hold it right in your view. See how the, there's some darker spots in the light when you want to get to this point, you want to control those and remove them by putting a dot in there and that's a big part of what creates that fabric 
look. I hope that's come across. See, there's a darker spot here, put a dot there. Darker spot here, put a dot there. Darker spot here, put a dot there. There, there, there. And this is about as um, high up the value range that I want to go. Oh, part of the reason I don't want to finish it off on video is because I can't get closer to the model without knocking the camera. So I'm looking at it from a bit further away than I probably normally would. But I mean, early days for my channel, probably a pretty crud video. If things go well, I'll try and eventually get us up to 4K and um, real good video quality and stuff eventually, but for the time being, you're just going to have to take the um, sort of extreme amateurishness of my videos for now. I don't know. Find it hard to talk. I don't talk a lot. Usually. So, I've taken away most of those dark splotches. And I mean, that's almost at an acceptable quality. But I, I mean depending on the fabric that you want the fabric look, it could be that the dots are that big and you leave them that way. Uh, there's a few of my recent projects that I have left them at that size. Um, there's the skirt on the um, Takeuchi Marina from Nico Galaxy, her, her blue skirt was probably left at this size. Um, and uh, the sweater on Cozy was probably larger but I want this um, Dark Angel's white cloak to really um, have a fine kind of soft feel to it. So I'm going to leave it off there. I may come back with this model to do more. Uh, may not. But definitely got a non-metallic metal gold coming up in the future.